Hey, how's it going? This is James Kalinda, and you're tuning into the James Kalinda podcast. Oh, yeah. Still kicking COVID's ass. Uh, We're just doing it big. Today's topic, you knew it was coming. The Matrix 4 Resurrections. Holy shit. <laughs> Uh, anyone who knows me knows I'm a gigantic nerd, huge Matrix fan. In my opinion, The Matrix is the greatest piece of American cinema ever made. The first podcast topic I ever dropped was, of course, my review of The Matrix, the first, the original, the um, 1999 March release that introduced us to this particular cyberpunk kung fu action genre. Holy sh- Bro, I'm a f- fanboy. Uh, I knew I was going to love this guy the matrix 4 and uh i did holy i can't complain at all i just finished watching it it blew me the way i knew i i got everything i wanted dude uh i saw some of the reviews online and they were not quite favorable some people said it was okay some people said uh it could have been better some people uh kind of hearkened it to um the rise of Skywalker, the, you know, the, uh, people were kind of afraid that this was going to suffer the same fate as the Star Wars remakes. And, uh, I'm not one of those people. I love the Star Wars remakes. Um, dude, I'm a science fiction nerd. Anytime you're going to hit me with awesome science fiction concepts and then couple that with millions of dollars of visual effects, uh, I'm going to be there. And then if you're the kind of filmmaker who's like, uh, Lana Wachowski, uh, my personal hero, holy sh- Let's get these transgenders making more sci-fi, am I right? Uh, if you're Lana Wachowski and you're like, hey, science fiction and uh, the greatest visual effects you've ever seen, let's throw in the best kung fu action you could possibly find inside of the Western Hemisphere. Up, dude. I can't even speak properly. I'm so hype about what I just saw. Uh, yeah, I, I knew the movie was going to deliver and it totally did. Shout out Keanu Reeves. Shout out Carrie Ann Moss. Shout out all the new cast members who uh, play the new characters introduced into the franchise. My man Yaya, um, some, his last name is hard to pronounce, but the, the dude from Candyman, um, the black guy from that Black Mirror episode where they played the video game and, and then it went weird. You know what I'm talking about. He plays the new Morpheus. Um, dude, I, I loved everything I f***ing saw, dude. Like, First of all, just Keanu Reeves and Carrie Ann Moss rekindling their relationship through some kind of weird digital serendipity. Uh, yes, please. Every time they're on screen together, I'm like, oh my god, yes. Nigga, the action. Holy sh! <laughs> it's just, they didn't miss a step. The gunplay is dope. The kung fu is dope. If there has ever been a movie that was a poster child for the success of nostalgia, my God, this movie is a nost- If nostalgia was a person and that person was a movie, f- <laughs> the callbacks alone, holy sh! The introduction of this movie is literally a remake of Trinity kicking the sh- those cops and running from the agent from the first movie, just with just more money. <laughs> like I couldn't, I couldn't stop watching this. Sh- as a science fiction aficionado, uh, aficionado, if you like science fiction, you're going to love this movie. If you like any kind of high concept, cerebral discussion about philosophy, mixing with technology and society, holy shit. If you've ever listened to anything Elon Musk ever said, uh, yeah, no, totally. When they're not uh, punching each other and shooting guns and bullet timing it, uh, the dialogue alone is just so packed of philosophy and high concepts. It's Dope is it, well, dude. If you're if you're coming to see some random action movie, Michael Bay, then yeah, you're probably gonna get exactly what you expected. But on top of that, if you're the kind of person who likes to discuss Alan Watts' philosophies, and you've mentioned Descartes in the past week, holy, f- let me give a quick shout out to Doogie Hauser. Yeah, holy, fuck, my man, kill. What's this nigga's name? The play dude from um. Lemony Snicket, um, what's his name? Neil DeGrat, Neil, Neil, nigga. Whoa, what a villain. Holy sh. And if you think you're not going to see something as impressive as bullet time in this movie, dude, the character who plays the therapist who's analyzing Neo, he has a character arc. And at some point, he displays what his power is this crazy hyper speed, reality bending sh. Dude, goosebumps, man. Uh, and James Kalinda, James Kalinda podcast. You niggas knew I was gonna drop this video. I've been talking about the Matrix Four for months and months and months ever since they dropped that first 
trailer, which knocked the ball out of the park. And uh, yeah, I'm a happy camper. A plus 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 nigga. Go see this movie and talk about a fucking date movie. Holy sh! If you're arguing with your girlfriend or your boyfriend at the end of this movie, y'all niggas is gonna kumbaya and have makeup sex. I swear to God, bro. Shout out to Wachowskis. Shout out everybody who had anything to do with making this movie. Thank you so much for making this nerd's holiday that much brighter. Bro, The Matrix for Resurrections. Get out there. Get a ticket. Let's support Keanu Reeves so he can keep saving the world. Kalinda out.